Hi and welcome to another Vegas tutorial. Today we're going to discuss audio and the volume envelope in particular. Have you ever imported audio and video from your camcorder only to find out that some of the audio is much lower than the other audio and you'd like to boost everything up to the same level? Or have you ever wanted to put a background audio on one of your videos and have the music play full volume, then drop down a bit so you could put a voiceover over, to over the top of it, then come back to full volume again? Well, the volume envelope lets you do exactly those things. And now let's let me show you how it works. But before we do that, uh, make sure you have this master level mixer open somewhere on your Vegas desktop. If you don't see that, you can get to it by going to View and select Mixer. That'll bring up this little volume control here for you. This is very handy. It's the easiest way of knowing when all your volumes are, are set and proper and right where they should be. So let's, so let's get started. Uh, for this demo we have just a simple audio clip some simple voice. One part of it, as you can see here, is very low and the other part of it is pretty high. What we want to do is somehow make this the same volume as this. First, let's see what the differences are. Let's see how much this has to be increased to get to that. What we do is just play this and watch our meters to see what they, what they tell us. This is a low volume audio signal. Okay, let's look at our peak levels right in here. As you can see, the low section is peaking at minus 12 dB. Now let's see what the high level section is doing. This is a high volume audio signal. The high level is, is peaking at about 2. Signal at about minus 2 dB, so there's about a 10 dB difference between the two. So somehow or other, this has to be raised up 10 dB to be the equivalent of this. So how do we do that? The volume envelope. To add a volume envelope, just go anywhere in a blank spot on your uh, track header, right click, go down to insert and remove envelope and select volume. This is very similar to the velocity envelope. If, you, if you've watched my velocity envelope uh, tutorial, uh, you'll find it very similar to this. They both work pretty much the same way. So now we have to get this 10 dB higher than this. Okay, so let's add a couple of points so we can boost this part up. Right click and select add point. Now right click and select add point again. Now let's take this and push this up. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a little window showing us the dB increase. Hmm, this is only going to take us up 6 dB, and we need 10. So you know what we can do? We can take this part down 4. There we go. So now there's a, a 10 dB difference between these two things. So both of them should appear on this on the, the graph at about the same level. Let's see if that's true. This, this is a low volume audio signal. That's peaking at minus six. This is a high volume audio signal. And that's peaking at minus six. So first of all, we do now have both of these in proper balance. But minus six is a little too low. We need to bring that up some. How do we do that? Very simply, we use this master slider right here. And we just take it up a bit. This is a low volume and see audio where we're at. Signal. Okay, we're now peaking at minus three. This is a high volume audio signal. Minus three. Let's go up a little bit more. This is a low volume audio signal. Okay, this minus two. This is a low volume Ooh, a audio signal. little too high signal. there. Take this it down is a some. High volume. This is a low volume audio signal. This is a high volume. Just a little bit high. We're over up to 0.3 plus. 
we want to keep it just below 0 dB. Let's take it down a little bit and try it again. This is a low volume audio signal. This is a high volume audio signal. And there we have it. That's perfect. Both are peaking at about minus 0 0.7. So both of these signals are now equal and even and right on the money as far as signal level goes. So there you go. That's how you can very easily balance any audio levels that you import from your camera with Sony Vegas and the volume envelope. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps. Bye bye.